Hey, it's me, Furry Face. Just got back. Uh, I think I left around 10.30 or something. I uh, had far to go. Fuck. Uh, lucky I found what I found. I made just over $7. Uh, as it was, I, I wasn't, I didn't get to IGA yet. I was like two thirds of the way there. But I had to stop and I went to a bus shelter to take a break. And I thought I had to fart, but it didn't come out that way. It was like, oh, fuck. So I had to find a place to shit immediately, you know. So luckily I was at the old bank that was closed for a couple of years. So I go around the other side carrying all my crap, you know. I had like a huge big bag of cans plus another side bag plus my backpack. It's like, fuck. So I go around the back. There's a carport around the back a bit, but it's open on both ends, so it's not quite good enough. It blocks only one house from view, so to go around the back a bit more, and there's another spot that's ideal. I peed there before, but this time it was for number two, you know. And there's some idiot in his backyard looking across at me. So I'm looking at him, and I raise my arms like, what the fuck do you want, you know? And he's like, what? And I said, I gotta take a shit, go away, you know? And he said, I'm gonna phone the police. And I said, the police? What's wrong with these people, you know? Like, fuck. I said, I don't have a choice, I have to shit now. He says, go to McDonald's. That's like a mile up the fucking street, I can't do that, you know? What do you think, I can fly over there? Yeah, fuck. So I just went to do my dump anyway. I didn't have any choice, I had to do it whether he was watching or not. Fuck him, you know? Gladly, when I looked up after my dump, he was back in his house, so that's good. But he was on the phone with the police, I don't know. <laughs> People that say they're going to phone the police for reasons like that, they don't. Either that or they bullshit. They lie about the call, saying I'm trespassing or some other bullshit, because they want the cops to respond, to put a scare into me, you know? It's really ridiculous. But anyway, luckily I had some ass wipe with me. I had some Kleenex and some old paper towel. That's gone now, so I'm going to make sure I bring a couple of rags at least. Fuck. Uh. He's going to phone the police. <laughs> anyway, after I cashed the stuff in, I made $7 something, which is like two bus fares. Pretty much, 350 a shot, you know. Uh, so I asked the cashier for change, and she gives me it, but I need more quarters, because the fare's like 350 you know. And then she gives me $2 worth of freaking quarters, and I said, well, four would have been enough, but I wasn't going to argue, I just left with eight quarters, what do you do, you know. Anyway, I found some stuff in back of IGA, some, uh, what's that, uh, egg salad sandwiches. Fucking pricey too. Yeah, three seventy nine. You know who pays for these? No wonder they're there. And uh, I ate one, which was still fresh. The same price. Yep, three seventy nine. Uh, mushrooms. What's the freaking price on the mushrooms? I can't even read it. Looks like a barcode, I guess they just scan it. Anyway, I got two packages of mushrooms. That one looks a little dark, well, the other corner down there, but it's not much. I just have to shave a tad off, big deal. They're still good. Uh, and I got a, oh, a huge thing of broccoli. Yeah, so I got some veggies. And two things of strawberries. So lots of strawberries. Now strawberries still look in good shape, you know, as you can see. You know. They look in pretty good shape still. So excellent. Uh, and I found some butts but not a lot. Just shared some with a neighbor. Usually he helps me when he has butts. But anyway, uh, slim pickings. But it's something. Anyway, that's it for the video. China Brown Cow. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more uh, wonderful 
videos. And this is my faith. Well, see ya.